Imagine it's 1994, the Dallas Cowboys won something. Everyone's doing cocaine, and you've got a room full of these bad boys. VHS tapes, this one's called The Unearthing. It sells for about $35 on eBay. And did you know that in the past 12 months, over $1 million in video sales. VHS tape movies sold on eBay eBay. A million dollars. Over 61,000 units with an average sale price of over $15 per unit. VHS tapes are a quickly growing niche. Now I'm not saying that, oh, I'm the first person to say sell VHS tapes because I'm not, but I am acknowledging that a trend is a Bruin. Now we've talked about Disney Black Diamond VHS tapes. These are not those. Those sell for like five to eight bucks, uh, if that. We're not focusing on those. We're focusing on our selection for the cinephiles. This tape right here was distributed by Prism Entertainment. I don't know if you can tell. 1994. Uh, Prism Entertainment sold their video library to Warner Brothers in the late 90s and they have all gone out of circulation. So if you want to watch The Unearthing, it's like a Filipino horror movie, you got to buy the VHS tape. So now what we have is a growing trend of people who want to watch old cult classics. They're sick of the sanitized Hulus and Netflixes and Amazon Primes and, you know, watching the same uh, Friends episode 10 million times, even though no one thinks they're funny. People are sick of that, and they want something new, something quirky, something funky, and what's more funky than a collection of old VHS tapes? I happened to buy 200 for 30 bucks at a local auction, and we're gonna go through those, and I'm gonna talk about the market, talk about how to list them, talk about how to ship them, talk about how to price them, talk about how you can make $500 a week out of that million dollars a year being handed out selling used VHS tapes. Is this a dream of yours? Do you love old movies? You want to have a low stress job giving people what they want when they want it? E-commerce might be for you, baby. In case you've ever wondered, here's what three boxes of VHS tapes looks like. I spent about 15 cents when it's all said and done, fees, gas, all that nonsense on these. Uh, so our break-even cost it's gonna be around like five dollars. We're not wasting time on those cheapy little five dollar ones. We're only cherry picking the good ones and we will auction off the rest. Anything below, uh, we'll say eight dollars, we're gonna auction off. I think now is a good time to bring up this comment I always get and they say, well, why aren't you selling the cheap ones? That's good money. And maybe for you it is, but for me, I don't wanna waste my time making a dollar per hour. I just don't wanna do that. Uh, so the cheap ones, the common, you know, mass produced ones, those will get auctioned off. And will I lose money? Potentially, yeah, I might not make back my 15 cents per DVD or per VHS tape on two thirds of them. But the ones I do sell are going to sell for such a large profit that it's going to make wasting time on those $1.00. 50 cent profit uh, VHS tapes, it's gonna make that become uh, an obvious waste of time to be quite honest. All I'm doing, and it's, it's really simple, is I have the eBay app on my phone and I'm searching the titles. I'm searching Redneck Zombies VHS. I'm filtering to only show the sold results. And then I'm using that to, uh, to base off what I'm selling it for right there. Uh, you know, you can just see Redneck Zombies VHS, and uh, some sell for $9, some sell for $25. That Redneck Zombies VHS tape, it's a trauma VHS tape, which is a keyword to look out for. They make kind of like satirical, campy, like purposefully cult horror movies. Uh, this one right here, The Regenerated Man, has that awesome like campy 90s look to it. The That individual tape sells for between 38 and 45 50 bucks so i'm already profitable you know with these with these three tapes i've got the regenerated man i've got zombie rednecks uh and i've got the unearthing 
We're looking at like 75 bucks gross revenue, probably like 55 bucks profit. These are going to ship media mail. Uh, I have to test them. I have a, a, a VCR, you know, a bunch of VCRs, but I have one for testing over there. So we're going to test them to make sure they all work. But even if they don't work, I can still sell the cases. The cases on these mid-level uh, VHS tapes sell for like $10. That one's in nice condition. I might go for more, even if the tapes don't play. I went through them all, all 200, and we found 30 uh, VHS tapes that will sell for $15 or more. Uh, maybe they're just rare. Maybe they're in especially good condition. I threw the other ones away. I could have auctioned them off by lot, by genre, but I think that would take more time than money would earn. You know, I I'd work four hours to do that, and I'd make 25 bucks. So I just threw them away, and now I'm going to focus on these. So we're going to clean them. We're going to test them. And then I'll show you how I'm going to list these. Just basically, I'll take probably three photos, uh, and then we'll list it. So I pulled aside Johnny Mnemonic. It's a Keanu Reeves, Dolph Lundgren sci-fi action thriller from the 90s. And I'm going to show you the, the photos I'll take. I'll do front cover. Uh, I'll also do the back cover. And then I'll take a photo of the disc with like a corner shot of, of like the edge of the, uh, of the VHS tape case. Now, if there was any serious damage, I would take photos of that damage, but there's no serious damage here. Uh, everything appears to be in pretty good condition. There's no peeling, there's no dings or, or scuffs. So I'm going to leave it at that and just post those three photos. I'll say it was tested, um, I'll say it was cleaned, and we'll price it at 15 bucks, and I think it'll sell in less than a month. And from there, you just make an eBay listing or a Mercari listing or an Etsy listing the way you would with any other item. So now we have the whole process down. We have how we're going to take photos and how we're going to research this. How do you make 500 bucks a week doing this? So I bought 200 movies, and I had 30 that were successes in my opinion. I think you should go by the $15 amount minimum sales price just because you're making like 10 bucks basically. Uh, after you know shipping after fees and a few returns here and there we're saying 10 bucks so I'm gonna assume that I'll make three hundred dollars off those 30 movies that I picked out could be more could be less but I think 300 bucks over the next month month and a half is a pretty safe estimate now to do that to do 500 bucks a week uh, you're probably gonna have to be buying about 500 movies a week so uh, a personal collection of 500, you know, 2,000 a month, uh, 26,000 a year, whatever it is, that's probably the number you're going to have to have if you're just doing collection buying. Now there are other ways to go about this. You can do like eBay auction snipes. Uh, you can form relationships with old movie stars or uh, or you know theaters whoever has these old tapes you can branch off into dvds and vhs tapes and you know uh, vinyl collectibles and all that kind of stuff but just to make 500 bucks a week on vhs tapes uh you're gonna have to be doing a lot of volume because what i learned going through all those tapes is for every uh the unearthing worth 25 or 35 bucks for every the regenerative man worth 50 bucks there's like eight austin powers five dollar vhs tapes or titanic two sets or star wars special editions which are worth really nothing at all you know after you take into account shipping and the work you're putting into it so what you have to do then is get good at two things one making relationships with people you know maybe clean out people uh maybe you know somebody who does storage units and they don't want to sell vhs tapes so you buy them all for a nickel a piece if i could make one thing very very clear in this video it's that selling vhs tapes is not a way to get rich quick and probably not get rich at all i would say that you are going to be capped at like fifty thousand dollars a year if you make can make 50 grand a year selling vhs tapes you are probably one of the best vhs tape salespeople in the world is it a fun side hustle that you can reliably make some cash on? Yeah, absolutely. But like I showed you earlier, unless you're buying tens of thousands of VHS tapes a year, or you can find hundreds of sealed, very rare VHS tapes for a tenth of the resale value, you're gonna have a hard time making 500 bucks a week. It's not impossible. Like obviously a million dollars sold in the past year, but I think that the good ones are so few and far between, you either have to get very good at finding bulk deals or very good at finding especially rare titles. Both avenues take some time. 
So don't get frustrated if you're new to this. If you are a new reseller, you want to make some cash on the side and you watch this video because it interested you and you want to make some more money, don't be discouraged that some things take two or four or six months to get good at or to get started at. Just start. And I want to know in the comments below, is this your passion? Is VHS tapes, old movies your passion? If not, what is your passion? What do you love? What thrills you to do? Because I think that maybe through discussion in the comments in the Facebook group I have, we can find a entrepreneurial niche for you. Again, my name is Blake. If I mentioned that, I'm not sure if I did. Uh, thank you for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment below with your passion, what you want to do to make money online, and I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, one more thing. What of these do you want to watch the most? Do you want to watch The Regenerated Man? Do you want to watch Johnny Mnemonic? Do you want to watch Redneck Zombies? They're all pretty crazy. I watched like 10 minutes of each of them. Uh, so I have been satiated. But what do you want to watch? Let me know in the comments below which of those videos you found most enticing.